I am Kat Woods. So welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you what I had gifted my husband for Christmas. So this is a personal size humble lamb Bible and this is the history version. I have been sharing mine which is in the rose gold color but he's a huge fan of purple. So I definitely had to get him the purple one and then when he seen this beautiful etching that they have on the gilding here his mouth dropped when he first seen it when they came out with it a couple of months like I would even say six months ago so it, it's been out for a minute and when he seen it back then I was like yep that's exactly what I'm gonna get him for Christmas so I did something special in this Bible I didn't just gift him the Bible and say okay bye bye good luck go for it you know <laughs> he has he has Bibles that are completely blank and he can use them however he wants keeps them clean does whatever they're literally there he has the he reads truth Bible he has a NLT that my spiritual mama sent him um, he has he has some Bibles he has a little his own personal Bible collection now this one I had pre set up for him so if you are a wife and you're trying to encourage your husband don't force it never ever ever force the Bible on somebody rather you're a wife wants your husband to get more into the Bible or a husband trying to encourage your wife to get into the Bible don't force it on them this right here I think is the best way you can help um, encourage them to get into the Bible and where they're going to be able to open it up and see some kind of map already you know going around they're not just opening up and just seeing old words that they don't know how to apply to everyday life as of today okay so without further ado I am going to go ahead and show you again wives you can do this for your husbands husbands you can do this for your wife they do have these cardstock pages I like I kept this one blank he can do whatever he wants with it I did take up one of them so one of them right here this is over his mindset so um, if he's okay if your husband's battling um, anger uh, addiction um, I'm, tr I'm just trying to think like fear worry doubt if, he, if there's something in particular that they're battling put in prayers right up front don't put them in the back because people really ever go to the back of the Bible I'm just saying unless they do some people start at the back I don't know put them where they can first see them so my my husband he, I know he needs uh, I'm gonna try to say how to say it so he needs chains re, uh, broken there we go he needs chains broken from his mindset he'll get into thinking something so anxiety can take in and have grab really grab a hold of him so he needs those chains broken once he thinks a certain way of um, like on a mindset a certain trail a certain path there we go he'll he just hit go all the way for it and that's Satan Satan knows how to use people he knows how to use their minds most of all so we want to protect them we want to cover them with prayer and not only us but we want to help them learn how to do it for themselves so what I did is I have prayers that he can just read over himself he can just say over himself to help prepare him day and night all right so that that's what I have over here it's all my it's all battlefield of the mind there we go that's the perfect phrase it's the battlefield of the mind he's going to use this Bible as a battlefield to battle his mindset I love that okay and then of course I decorated the not decorated but I filled out the presentation page this right here I have a prayer that he can pray over me and in my Bible I have a prayer I could pray over him okay so it's it's a matching literally matching husband and wife Bible I love that I love that mindset and I wish somebody would show like somebody else do this so I can get some more ideas that I think it would really 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 be encouraging because we got to not only fellowship with each other but it's so important to build each other up inside the house together as a family 
fight together as a family. All right, so sprinkled from Genesis to Revelations, just like my Bible, I have these cute little hearts. Well, I definitely wasn't gonna do that for my husband. I have these little crosses. So when we are flipping through here, let's, I know there's some in Psalms for sure. <laughs> There's, it's all sprinkled through, Gen there it is, from Genesis to Revelation. We have these cute little crosses. Let me bring you in closer. That little purring, you know the producer is right here. He is working. He has his little uniform on and he's ready to go to work. So he's here too, Desari is. Okay, so these little crosses, they will have verses. It will always pertain to his mindset, encouraging. Rather, it's um, talking about prayer, personally talking about prayer. Rather, it's talking about deliverance. Rather, it's talking uh, anything, anything that's going to help him. All right. So we have prayer prompts. Another thing, he's everyone always starts, especially as a new baby Christian. Um, they always are worried about praying correctly. What do I pray? How do I pray? You know, and some people it's super easy. It's just they get it and they're they're okay with it. But just in case, you know, you, you never know. You may want a prayer prompt one day and God leads, leads him to the prayer prompt. That's perfect. So I have prayer prompts that will pertain to him. So I didn't have a prayer prompt in here. Hey, pray for the government. You know, I, I didn't do any of that. These are all things that's going to help him. So we got a prayer prompt here. And it's super easy. Do you believe God always answers your prayer? And that will get his wills turning to where he's reading something. He can ask himself, well, am I? Am I actually believing? Am I actually standing firm in God? You know, so I got a prayer prompt in there. Um, there's prayer prompts. And then there will be prayer prompts. And then I have verses where he can actually pray the scriptures. So I can continue to add to, you know, to this. It doesn't only have to stop right here, but I didn't want to fill it up too much to where the Bible is already done. I just wanted it enough to where he can continue on with this. So right here, I have that little cross up here. And then I have right here, pray this. You can pray it again whenever. There's no certain time. And then I have a little, a little note right here telling him why I'm having him pray this. What's the benefit of it? What is he going to get out of it? All right, so if you are a subscriber, you already know where those prayer prompts came from. He doesn't have the full 200 prayer, prayer prompts like I do in my other one. I only wanted prayers in there that are going to help him in his season right now. Further along, we may do this together. He may want to do it. So this is the book where I got the prayer prompts. You don't need this book. This book is very difficult to find. So I sometimes don't like to really show it because it's difficult to find. But if you, if you can get your hands on it, it's, it's a good one. You can easily Google, uh, verses, prayer verses, um, Verses to pray over for anxiety. Verses to pray over for happiness. Maybe, there it is. Maybe you want your husband or wife to be more happy. Find verses in the Bible that pertain to that. And it encourages them. The more that they see it, the more that they read it, the more that it feeds their spirit, the more that it will help them. Ultimately help them. And then the more that they're in the Bible, Old and New Testament, please don't only go and fill out verses in the New Testament just because it's easy. Everyone needs to be reading both translations. The whole Bible is supposed to be read, not just one uh, testament. There we go, not translation, testament. <laughs> I apologize. I have a really, really bad headache right now. So um, I didn't expect to do a video, but I did wanna go ahead and share. This is what I gave my husband and I wanted to share with you all. You all can also do this for your own significant others. Okay, 
But that is it. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do love communicating with you all. I will get to them as soon as I can. As always, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I will talk to you all later. Bye.